Michelle Mao. I'm from the IPG CTO office. Today, I'm keep going to talk keep talking about the HCNN, um, which reveals more details about how do we train the different networks for um, family class classification and member classification. As we learned in our la last white board Wednesday, uh, we know that there are six predetermined families for human being. But these six fam families might not be the families that's seen by a CNN. So what we decide to do is to let CNN determine how many families it wants and which members should be grouped together in the family. Um, so this is what we call uh, CNN oriented family clustering. How do we do that? So among all these 43 signs, we pick the two that are mo mo least likely to least likely or similar to each other. Which let's say is these two signs: the uh, uh, curve road ahead and the left turn arrows. These are what we call the seed seed A and seed B. And from these two seed. We will examine our signs carefully and try to uh, grow, grow this to set, to seed set, and to include more signs to each of them respectively. For example, we will put the merge sign, attention sign uh, together with the, the curve road ahead. And we would have a few other blue arrows um, grouped together with the left turn signs. That what we call the seed set. And then with this, the seed set, we're able to train the network uh, for family clustering. How do we do that? Um, from the training data set, we find out the signs that are labeled or that are belonging to these signs. So there are many of them. So we will, group, uh, we will grow a, a subset from the training set, which is used to determine uh, a sign belongs to set A or set B. So we train the network, and then we will throw all the signs that in the training data set and try to label in all of them. So by doing this, every single sign in the training set will have a destination, either set A or set B. Um, but uh, that is not the end. So we will, after we get the set A and set B, we're going to examine the standard deviation of the similarity within a set. If a set, the standard deviation is larger than a predetermined threshold, we're going to split it again, uh, repeat the, the process that we just did for this two set, meaning find the, two, the furthest two point two signs, and then grow a seed set and then train the network to labeling all the, the signs that within that set. Um, and we will do this till we find out that all sets cannot be split further. So in that sense, we kind of find out the N families we need, or K families we need for the traffic sign. So by running this uh, seeding, growing, CNN training and labeling procedure, uh, we end up with five families. These are the five, five families um, preserved by a CNN algorithm, not six families that are uh, designed for human being. And there are some difference, now noticeable uh, difference between the um, human being preferred family and CNN oriented family. First is like uh, there's uh, the left keep left sign, which is kind of opposite to the keep right. So this sign will be grouped together with this de-restriction signs, because it will treat this left point down arrow as similar to this, uh, this bars in the de-restriction signs. And the other thing to notice that the CNN will move the stop sign together with the, uh, within the family of the speed limit because it sees it like a round circle with something in between. And uh, so 
this, this, how the five families uh, determined by CNN looks like, you may go to our website and check the tutorial we presented for the CVPR 2016 or check our paper that published in the Intelligent Vehicle 2016 as well. So with this five family determined by CNN, we're able to run, we have all the families that, uh, all the CNNs that we need, and we could run the inference for the test images. And what we end up with is uh, we achieve 99.82 percentage uh, correct detection rate. Comparing to the, but comparing to the best reported results that uh, in the paper published in 2012, uh, 2015, uh, we are about 20 times less in complexity. So in that sense, we um, can claim that we have the best performance with the least complexity. So that is all for today's Whiteboard Wednesday. See you in next Wednesday.